All right, welcome back to the fifth episode of the Gran Turismo 4 Let's Play. Today we're going to be building a 7th Gen Toyota Celica. Um, obviously, there's a lot going on that's changed even from the last episode, episode 4, when we went and did the uh, Custody the Amalfi runs. Um, and I have 15 million credits. Uh, the Astra now has a very high... Uh, 1,135 miles. That was from when the car was brand new. And you guys, like I said in the last episode, I've barely put any miles on it myself. I'm um, also sold the Subaru and got a Corolla rally car, my favorite rally car from Gran Turismo 3. Um, and I've always really liked this car, despite how a lot of people are going to think that it's really ugly. I've always liked this car. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sad we never got this version of the Corolla here in the States, but um, I do happen to have this car now and uh, couldn't be any happier. I mean, I, I, it is a bit of a learning curve, from, even from the Subaru, but um, I'm having fun with that. I also bought a bunch of other new cars. I got another Volvo um, through one of the events. I can't remember which, which event it was, but I won the Volvo 240, so I wound up selling the one I already had. And uh, I'm going to be going with this one because it's a zero mile car. I've also got the RX-8 race car now, um, which I really like because you, if a lot of people know, I'm a big fan of the 787B. So this car running the uh, exact livery is awesome. But anyway, kind of trying to keep it short with all the car stuff going on. That's not our main focus today because I've noticed that like a couple episodes, I think one and three were both really focused on uh, catching up with what happened. So. Anyway, let's get right into today's video. We're going to be building a 7th generation Celica. Um, I can't decide whether I want to do the trial or the TRD version. I think we're going to go with the TRD just because it's the closest to the normal car. I'm having a hard time finding a normal Celica, which is what's proven to be annoying. So we've got ourselves the TRD. Let's see what color do we want to go with. I think we're going to go black. I think black's a good color for this car. So here we go, we got our TRD Celica, the ZZT231, so that's a pretty solid car. Um, obviously right away, this car's going to be a track car, so we're going to go for the most power we can get out of this car. It's kind of strange that the turbo setup's not so good. That's uh, that's new. Um, maybe we'll have to see if the NA stuff's going to be better. Because uh, it really isn't. This car is... Wow, okay. I was really expecting to get a lot more power out of this. Maybe the trial would be better if we were going to go for higher horsepower, but I thought maybe we'd go TRD just to get kind of a close to factory experience, but this is not impressive so far. I mean, turbo kit and then all this stuff only making, you know, only 300. Um, like, I know this, the 7th gen wasn't really optimized all that well in terms of horsepower, but it's... Uh, Interesting. I may actually have to go back and build the trial at some point, and we'll do like a comparison between the TRD and the uh, trial car. Um. So yeah, 313 horsepower at the moment. Maybe the weight will be what makes this car better. Because to my understanding, the 7th Gen is a very lightweight car. Um. Let's skip the brake controller for now. I usually get it, but I don't know how to work it all that well. So we're gonna top out at 322, which. It's, it's it's mediocre, to say the least. Um, I expected it to be a lot faster. Uh, but a lot of modifications are, like, you know, tapped out where I can't use them. Like, you know, all the lower end stuff. But I guess it's fine, because I'm fully building this car anyways. Um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in uh, the power numbers. Maybe getting the trial would have been the better option if we wanted to go higher power on a 7th gen. Um, but I wanted to go with a TRD car just because it was an official Toyota. <clears throat> so, of course, I do have a 6th gen, um, which we will been pro been build probably eventually um, on the channel as well for like a future event. Because probably if I do, like, if there's a Celica race, I don't remember if there is or not, we'll check here in a minute. Um, I'll more than likely use the 6th gen, uh, unless I change my mind here and use the seven, this TRD car. But we're going to go ahead and throw super soft tires on it. I do want to build another one of these as a rally car as well. I think that'd be kind of interesting to see, even though it's front-wheel drive. So we're going to do all the weight reduction stuff. It's a decently lightweight car. So maybe that'll save it in the long run, and we'll get some good weight out of this car, and it'll be, you know, it'll be fine. I had to put super softs on this car because front-wheel drive cars with turbos in this game, just they don't hook. Like, I have a... I have the EK9, which I drove for a while in the earlier videos. Uh, I don't remember if I actually drove it on video, but I know I did drive it in the game. Uh, and they, it does not handle very well with the turbo. So I had to like dial it back to a stage one turbo for it to even hook. But uh, there we go. We have our TRD built. There is not a Celica race. Just a Vitz slash Yaris in the Altezza. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over to GT Auto. We're gonna do our oil change. Um, pretty much for those who don't know, this is like an older exploit. I don't know if it's actually in GT4, but in GT3, if you did an oil change before you raced the car, and I believe uh, this still pertains to GT6 as well and GT5. Um, so I, uh, maybe it is still in this game, but if you do an oil change before either, I can't remember if it's either you modify the car or race the car, um, it actually gets you a slight, less, like literally like a two or three bump in horsepower. It's very small, but it's the best way to maximize your horsepower with the car. Um, so we're also going to do a couple bit of aesthetic stuff. We're going to put a wing on this car because we need the extra downforce, but it's front wheel drive. It doesn't matter what your drivetrain is when it comes to downforce. <laughs> So we're also going to throw some black wheels on the car. Oops, I meant to keep the racing tires on it. Let's go back. Let's switch to our RSSs. We're going to go... I'm trying to remember all the companies that sell black wheels. We're going to go with OZ first. There's some black wheels from OZ. We're going to go with like a full black wheel setup on this car. So we need to find... So OZ only has one set, and I'm not too crazy about it on this car. Falcon's got like the Rega Master kind of look. So, um, while it would probably be good on a white car, I don't think it's going to work very well if we did it on the black. I don't really like those. Don't like those either. Definitely don't like those. NK let me down. So, I don't know if Ray's has black TEs in the game, but we're going to look. There's blue, bronze, gold. Yeah, no black there. Speed line, maybe? Okay, those, I think I like these more. Anything else? Hmm, maybe those. I think, I'm thinking the, the last set we looked at. Yeah, we're gonna go with that last set right here. From Speedline, and there we go. Now we've got our completed TRD. We're gonna go tune this car and see what exactly it does. Uh, I wish there was like a race I could use to test the car. I mean, granted, we could just go straight into a special conditions race and test it that way. Um, probably would do Costa de Amalfi again, but uh, since we did that last episode, I don't know exactly if I want to do that. Um, I know the car would not handle. I guess we can give it a shot with the George with the George the Fifth Rally here. I don't know exactly how this is going to go because this car, again, is not the fastest thing I've ever driven. Um, and I usually try to go kind of overpowered. Maybe it'll make the race close. I mean, we've got an Evo 8 uh, GSR MR. So, I mean, this, this might actually equal out a little bit. I mean, this car is fully built. Um, so, we're going to have to see on that. This does have capability up to 100 Charlie Nitrous. So that actually does redeem it a little bit because that'll make it around 438 horsepower. So, probably going to get, you know, told off a lot in the comments for not buying the brake controller. But I just don't really have much of a use for it i don't know how to work the brake controller so i think that's kind of a uh reason why i'm not using it um so I'm gonna go ahead and lower the ride height i know again i'm kind of an amateur when it comes to suspension tuning in this game even in gran turismo 6 i wasn't that great at it but i just tend to go as low as possible um we're gonna dial back the the asm to, to five from ten this is kind of the settings i run on most of my cars um and just as a precaution we're gonna bump the transmission up to about 16 on the auto setting as far as downforce goes, we are going to go ahead and max out the downforce because I want this to handle really well. So getting that downforce max out, despite taking a hit in speed, we are going to get better handling. All right, so there we go. But about 438 horsepower on the nitrous. So this car should be okay, I think. But we're going to see how this goes. So three laps on uh, George, v, George V Paris. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I will say it's a good looking car. I actually like how this car looks, especially with the wing on it. But I'm scared to see how well it handles this Evo 8. That's probably going to be one of the closest races we've done on video. Because I've always built overpowered cars for stuff like this. That 8000 RPM red line is so nice. We're not technically that much faster than the Evo in terms of horsepower. But it handles really good though I'm liking the handling this is really good I think our downforce tuning did a really good job ooh I flipped the wall there that was interesting the sound thing
Very Honda-ish red line there. Owns I cannot afford a mistake of this race. The Coast City Amalfi and all the other like road races I do with my overpowered cars, I can afford mistakes. This not so much. Evo's right down on right down on the back of this car. I think I may have gone a little long with the gearing. Oh, clipped that wall a little bit there. That was not. A, I'm not really familiar with this track, so I'm still kind of learning it. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Hit the spray a little bit. Get a little bit of wheel spin. I say a little bit. Get in the fourth, and this thing takes off. The giggle gas coming into work again. Not too bad on the handling, not a lot of understeer. A little bit of understeer then to that last turn there, but we got through. Ooh, there's our first penalty of the day. Ooh, cut that turn way too sharp. So even on RSS, it gets a decent bit of wheel spin in first. I think fourth is probably the best gear to grab if you're going to go spray on this with the 100 shot. Let's see here. Coming into this turn here. I will say this track's probably easier than the New York. New York is actually a decently difficult track. And for me at least, I've always had problems with the 90 degree turns. This track's not quite as bad about it, but it can be rough sometimes. Really sharp turn here. Clip that wall just a little bit. A lot of wheel spin there in third, but we hit fourth and this car just goes. I thought this race would be a lot closer, but I guess that's just me underestimating the car a little bit. I'm sure if we were on sports tires, this would be misery. So that's one thing I will say is that this car probably would not do very well with sports tires on it. Ooh, brake hard. And I do think I went very long on the gears. I think I should have done better with the gearing on this car because I think it's just too long. Another penalty. There we go. <laughs> Give the Evo a chance, I guess. <laughs> I was convinced that this car was not going to be able to get away from the Evo terribly easily. So I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of impressed, but I think at the end of the day, this car is still way too slow. I mean, it's okay. I mean, with racing softs on it, I think it's actually really well balanced for this track. Maybe I can bring the auto setting down and just kind of work with gears individually. I'm not really good at transmission tuning. So maybe I'll need to uh, work with that a little bit. Those two penalties really kind of gave the Evo some ground. I was kind of joking when I said give the Evo a chance. And the game's like, okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. <laughs> so we're going to come over the last two turns here. Dab the brakes a little bit. And good turn. Again, these really tall gears I put in this car. I should not have done that. A little spray, get in the fourth early. And across the line, not bad. Not too bad of a run from the Celica. That was uh, that was pretty all right. Four minutes and thirty-seven around that. So it's definitely not the shortest race in the world, but I didn't expect it to be. But I completely expected the Evo to be right up on it. But um, I was impressed. It did a pretty all right job. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do the other race just to kind of. Uh, clear out this episode the best way possible by uh, giving it a shot here and seeing uh, what it can do. I've already done the George V Rally, I believe, in the hard difficulty. Let me look. Um, if not, we may try to that, try that like later on in this episode, give one run at it. I've already done it in hard, but I might do it just for fun, just to kind of throw this car 
like against the rally cars and see if that's like a really good competition for it. Because I underestimated the rally cars too. In, in the last episode, I mean, we had to go against the Evo rally car and the Astra, and I was convinced the rally car would be able to hang up with me, but it got obliterated. So we got another Evo, it looks like. I think this was a, another MR, or was this a GTA? I couldn't, I didn't look long enough. Actually, now I think about it, I don't think that the GTA was an Evo 8. I think that was an Evo 7, but either way. The 7, 8, the 7, 8, 9 looked too similar to me, so. All right, here we go. Second race in the George Fifth Rally on uh, the uh, normal difficulty. We'll see how this goes. I will say, this is one of very few cars in this game that has a four-cylinder with a racing exhaust that doesn't sound too bad, because a lot of the four-cylinders get absolutely ruined in this game. This is going to be a hard pass right here. Thought maybe downshifting in the first would give us a little bit of ground there. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Now I got to play catch up. <laughs> But uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, it's a cl I clipped that too sharp. See, this is my problem. When I get caught up having to play catch up in this game, I start making mistakes. I start pushing harder, and then that makes me make mistakes. All right, so we're getting ready to come in to the little roundabout turn here. Hopefully, going to make up a little bit of ground with the Evo. I mean, the Celica is its a pretty alright car. I think, personally, if you're going to build a Celica in Gran Turismo 4, you're going to want to build a 6th uh, Gen GT4. Or just any GT4, really. So I don't think these, these like, more economically focused 7th Gens are, are, like, the best in terms of, like, high horsepower cars in this game. Right back up with the Evo here. Oh, trying not to hit him too hard to, to trigger the penalty system. The penalty system in GT4 is broken. Like, I get it when you hit a wall and stuff like that, or you can, like, cut the track. That's one thing, but... Okay. Come on. Shut the door. Dang it. The gearing on this car is killing this thing. And the large amounts of wheel spin this car has in first. I know for sure if I brought the Astra out to this, we would have dominated this race, but I really wanted to challenge myself for once. And this is so far proven to be a pretty solid challenge. A little spray to help you get up in the RPMs a little bit there. And try to pass on the outside. ASM's doing a little bit of work there. We got our lead back, but I don't know how long we'll have it. Kind of feed it a little bit. There we go. That actually worked out really well. Oh, I'm coming way too fast this turn, though. That should be the tactic for using nitrous in a front-wheel drive car, is just kind of feed it. Not even, like, go full bore with it, just kind of tap the button a little bit and feed it if you're running, like, a high shot. Like, I know if you're running, like, one of the smaller, like, the 50 shot or something like that on this car, it'd probably be perfectly fine to go full bore or whatever, but I think on a... Oh, man. That's not good. That's not a good time penalty. I need to not get too many penalties this lap. <laughs> That was such a hard challenge, getting back up with the Evo. I hit that wall too hard. Okay, so I'm going to try to cut the turn a little bit wider here. So it doesn't bounce. So the turn a little wide. 
was a lot of understeer there going into that turn. We're coming into the roundabout though, and I think we are going to be clear. I don't want to speak too soon. Go football on the nitrous. Leave it for dead and across the line. Really? Oh, bonk. <laughs> Solid run from the Celica on that. That was pretty all right. That was uh, that was a bit of a climb from the back, but I think the Celica did a really solid job. So I'm pretty impressed. I mean, the car did a great job. The Evo gave it a really hard time, so... <laughs> Definitely not the fastest car in the game, but I think the 7th Gen Celica is all right. Um... Personally, again, if you're going to build a high horsepower Celica in pretty much any of the Gran Turismo games, you're going to want to get a GT4, so either a 5th or 6th generation Celica. You don't really want to go with this at the 7th if you're going to build uh, build for high horsepower. But I think that's about it for this. Um, let's see what our prize car is. I forgot we were in the middle of a special conditions race. I'm going to Renault 5 Maxi Turbo Rally car that I'm probably going to sell because I have zero intentions on driving this thing. <laughs> but anyway, I think that wraps it up here for this episode. I'm going to go and sell this car. We're going to see how much this car is worth. Um, pretty much, I'm kind of waiting to do the GTWC stuff until I hit day 694. So I'm just over 114 days uh, in game. So um, I'm trying to get the black cars. I really want to get the black cars to kind of, you know, play a lot through the game with so yeah 265k makes back a lot of money i think uh, i actually have more than i started this episode with um but yeah so if you're gonna build a celica in gt4 definitely get a sixth generation or a, a fifth generation gt4 um i think i think another episode of this we're totally gonna build because i i just happen to have a sixth generation gt4 um i think we should probably build this car and then compare it but as far as the like, cars we can get in the United States, we didn't get the GT4 here, so um, we kind of have to work with what we got. And I think that uh, the seventh generation is a really solid car here for real life in the U.S. But uh, definitely, if you're building a high horsepower Celica in Gran Turismo, get a GT4. That's the way to do it. Um, I think eventually I wanted to start doing some drift stuff, so I think we're going to build this Chaser here. Um, I do happen to have this car. I just didn't want to change what wheels on it. I didn't do anything else yet. Uh, I loved the chaser. I was like, when, current, when my truck caught on fire, I was very trying. I was trying really hard to try to import a, a Toyota chaser to be my next car, but uh, I couldn't find one that was in my price range. They're all kind of expensive cars now. Um, which also, we have some other cars. I may eventually do a comparison video as well between the Sky, this R32 GTS as well as an R32 GTR and see which car would be better. Again, this is kind of the same thing, just an oil change in wheels. I didn't really do anything else. But anyway, that wraps up episode four of the series. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, I think next episode, we're going to do some wet race action and uh, see kind of what's going on there. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content coming soon on the channel. Some more GT4 Let's Play stuff, episode six coming soon. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Take care, guys.